Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another Black Desert Online video. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to notify you when new videos get posted. And feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below of any videos you would like to see or any topics that you would like me to cover. So this is going to be episode 9 of Forgotten Grind Zones. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Pilaku Gel which is on the far east side of the desert, just south of, of Zaratown. Now, it recommends 210 AP out here. Um, you can grind comfortably with, you know, 220, 230 AP. If you're closer to that 210 AP range, and depending on your DP, it would be beneficial to bring some drafts with you to use. You know, you can always use your Destruction Spirit Stone to give you a little more AP so you can drop the mobs faster. As far as drops out here, pretty much all the same drops as the Sulfur Mine. You've got the Black Spirit Claws, which are going to be your biggest money maker out here. Kaffir Stones, Armor Weapon Stones, Spectre Energy, which I haven't seen drop yet. And then the Cecil's Necklace. Now this is a nice isolated area. So, you know, you really won't run into people out here. Not many people are going to take the time to ride all the way out here to grind. The experience out here isn't terrible. I got about 2% in an hour at level 61. Now that was with, you know, full EXP buffs running. And you can also get Marnie Stones. And remember to grab those before you come out here because there's not a Marnie Stone vendor at this grind spot. So make sure you pick those up before you head all the way out here. Now there is a Kafiris Daily out here as well to get your one free Kafiris Stone for killing a thousand of the mobs. And there's also a journal quest out here to kill 3,000 of them for 10 Kaffir stones, I believe. The mobs out here have a pretty good aggro range, so it's not too hard to group a bunch of them up to AOE them down. They're very easy to kill, um, especially if you're above 230 AP. It's no problem at all to kill them. They do have some stuns and knockdowns, so if you're kind of like barely at the requirements to come out here, you might want to make sure you're either paying attention or have some health pots or something on you. That way you don't die and lose your crystals. The main rotation out here, which you see me doing in the video, is all the way at the bottom of the gel. You just come through the tunnel at the entrance and then just work your way down the spiral to the bottom. And it's just a big open floor. You can go around the outside edge, in and out of the rooms, and through the middle to kill all the mobs. They will respawn fast enough, so you shouldn't have to worry about really going and pulling anything extra. But this is also the main spot that most people come out here to grind when they do come out here. And one benefit to this place is this place is huge. There's tons of other areas that you can go grind tons of hallways and corridors off the side with big rooms in them. So you can always, if you don't feel like PVP and if there's someone out here, you can always go in one of those other doors through the halls and stuff to find a different grind spot. It is easy to get turned around. I have actually kind of gotten lost out here before in the past, before I kind of figured out what was what. But it's really a fun place to grind, and I enjoy coming out here just because you very rarely will run into anybody else. Now, as far as silver per hour out here, it's not the best. It really depends on if you get the Black Spirit Claw piece drops or not. If you don't get the drop, then you're probably looking around, I average about 80 mil to 90 mil an hour out here without the Black Spirit Claw piece dropping, and then... I've had one hour where I got two Black Spirit Claw pieces to drop. So that put me right at 130 mil an hour. So it's really going to have a big kind of gap in the consistency as far as how much silver you're, per hour you're going to get out here because it really depends on that Black Spirit Claw piece to drop. Now my node level out here is zero and I did use Agris Fever Points as well as a Loot Scroll while I was out here grinding. Now, I did seem to get a good supply of the Ancient Relic Scrolls out here. Um, I think I got around 25 an hour on average when I was out here grinding. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because I either forgot to record my loot screen or I accidentally deleted it. I'm not able to find it. So, unfortunately, I can't show you that one on this video. But on average, you can probably expect around 80 to 120 mil an hour out here really depending on if you get that black spirit claw piece or not and like i said just because it is so far out here don't forget to go ahead and bring your food buffs with you and grab your marnie stones before you come out here that way you can you know get that little bonus exp well that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it 
if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section down below of any videos you guys would like to see or any topics you would like me to cover, and I will make that happen for you guys. I hope you have a great day.